So welcome to part one of my solving the 5x5 Rubik's Cube tutorials. In this video we are going to solve the centers of the cube. And you can probably notice that I already solved three centers of this cube. Notice how the white center is already solved, the red center is already solved, and the yellow center is solved. And the reason why I did this is just to save a little bit of time. And don't worry that we're starting with the fourth center. Uh, the method I'm about to teach you to solve centers if you, know, if you understand it for the fourth center, you will absolutely have no problem solving the first three. So don't worry that we are starting right away with this fourth center. So I'm just going to start solving this orange side of the cube. And the way I solve centers is by forming three by one blocks. And the first three by one block I solved is this middle or horizontal three by one block. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this middle three by one block. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this edge piece and place it right here. And at first it'll be a two by one and then we'll get this one to form a three by one block. So I'm going to place this edge piece right here by just rotating the side up. And when I did that, I actually screwed up the left side of the cube. This red center, which was solved for, is not is screwed up now. Um, so I'm going to rotate this two by one block and get it out of the way, and get it out of the left side. And now I can rotate the left side back, and the red center is still correctly solved. All right. Um, so now we have a two by one block, but we need to form this three by one block. So now I'm going to place this piece into this position right here. So I'm just going to rotate the edges so this move is easy. Um, so now I can just rotate this piece into this position to form our 3 by one block. And notice when I do this, I screw up the right side of the cube. So I'm going to get this 3 by one block and rotate it so it's out of the right side of the cube. And now I can bring the right side back so nothing is screwed up. All right, so now we have formed our first three by one block. And now we need to do the same exact thing and form another three by one block. However, this time I'm going to form the block not on the orange side of the cube. So I'm going to form the three by one block not on the orange side, and then I'm going to place it onto the orange side. All right, so here we have a two by one block. So I'm going to place another corner piece into this position to form a three by one block. So here we have another corner piece right here. So I'm going to place that corner piece into this position right here. And notice how this position that's empty is in the bottom left corner of this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to place this corner piece on the bottom left corner of its side. Okay. So now I can rotate this piece and we can form our three by one block. But when I did that, I screwed up the left side of the cube. Notice how the left part of the white is screwed up. So I'm going to get this three by one block out of the way and bring it to the right. And now I can rotate the left side back the way it was before and nothing is screwed up. And once again, we have a three by one block. We actually have two three by one blocks. That just happened by chance. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this three by one block and bring it to the orange side of the cube. So I'm just going to rotate it up. And when I do that, I screw up the left side of the cube. So I'm going to get all my orange pieces that are correctly positioned and bring them to the right side of the cube. And now I can bring the left side back so nothing is screwed up. All right. So now we have to form our last three by one block. So we need to get this orange piece and we need to place it into this position right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to place uh, this orange piece. I'm just going to bring it to another side of the cube that's not solved. So I'm going to bring this orange piece um, to the opposite side of the cube. All right. There's probably a quick way to do this, but this is a way that seems easy for me. So I'm going to bring it to this side of the cube. And notice how I screwed up the right side when I made that move. So I'm going to bring this orange piece to the left. And now I can bring the right side back the way it was before. All right. And now 
I can rotate this 2 by one block so it's easy to put this last orange piece into its correct position. So I'm going to rotate it like this, and notice how the bottom right position is the open position. So I need to place this last orange piece into the bottom right position as well. All right. Um, now we can rotate the piece up, and we can form our 3 by one block. I screwed up the right side of the cube when I did that, so I'm going to bring the 3 by one block to the left, get it out of the way, and now I can bring the right, right side back the way it was before, and nothing is screwed up. Notice how we still have our yellow side, we still have our white side, and we still have our red side. Solved for. Alright, so now let's bring our last 3 by one block to the orange side of the cube, and the way you want to position this before you make the move is you want to place it vertically, directly below another 3 by one block. Okay? So I'm going to place this orange 3x1 block directly below another 3x1 block and place them both vertically. Um, now I can just rotate this 3x1 block to the orange side of the cube and notice how I just screwed up the right side so I can bring all of the correctly positioned orange pieces to the left side of the, of the cube and get them out of the way. Now when I bring the right side back We, we bring our last three orange pieces back to the orange side of the cube, and we also bring our red pieces back to the red side of the cube. And now we have correctly solved four centers of this cube. And the last two centers we have to solve for are a bit more difficult, so I'm going to make a separate video on how to solve our last two, uh, two centers. But up to this point, you have the main idea. You should at least be able to solve the first four centers of the 5x5 Rubik's Cube. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.